So this is the Implant Club Implant. In this video, I'm gonna unpack it and show you what's inside. This is what's inside. It's got the implant right here attached to a transfer. So this is called an implant transfer. And it also comes with this little thumb grip right here. Now first let me go over some of the specs of the implant. Let me pop it off of here. So this little screw is made in the US. And there's a couple of key things that I look for when we're talking about a dental implant, when you, you're trying to pick a good dental implant to use. So let's go over those main things right now. So I'm gonna have to whip out the microscope for this part to explain the implant design. So there's a couple of key things that I look for. One of those things is right over here. See, so right here, it's got some micro threading. So this is near the platform. The implant has some micro grooves that help relieve some of the pressure that can build up at the cortical plate. So having these, these little threads is important. Also, while we're up here, there is the platform switching that is important as well. Basically, when an implant has a platform, like a restorative platform that is further inside, than the outside of the implant that's called platform switching. It, it brings the platform more medial, right? Brings it more inside and uh, where the, the implant body is out here. I also want the implant body to be the widest near the platform. So over here, this is the widest portion of the implant, right? So uh, as you look at the implant from top to bottom, you see that this portion right here near the crown is actually the widest part of the implant and it tapers, so the implant gets narrower as we get to the apex. So that part's important for a couple reasons. One, you don't want there to be a gap, right, between your, your implant and your bone. Right here at the cortical plate, we have an, we'll have a nice seal between the implant and the, and the bone. And having a tapering body allows the implant to get a little bit more predictable primary stability. Now here at the apex, you see that this apex is round, so I like having a round or a flat apex, so something that's not gonna tear any sinus membrane that's over here. So if you are if you have anything that's sharp around here, this might potentially uh, damage a sinus membrane. So the threading on this implant is aggressive, and so it has helped me achieve good primary stability, but it's not over the top, so I don't see the, uh, the bone loss that's sometimes accompanied with too much compression and too aggressive threads. Another important thing when you're looking at implants is you do want the entire body of the implant to be rough from the apex all the way up to the platform. That is the best surface for bonding to bone. Now the platform of this implant is internal hex. That means it's fully compatible with the Zimmer TSV platform. It's the most universal implant platform. And basically this part of the abutment that goes onto it's just a little hex and it clicks on to that right there. And because it's internal hex, that means that pretty much every single lab in existence uh, will be able to restore this because every single lab has experience with restoring Zimmer internal hex. That makes it really convenient for you, really convenient for other doctors that, that look at it. They'll know that it's a tried and true platform that every single dentist should be familiar with restoring. So now remember I showed you that the implant came with this transfer, right? So this transfer, it's basically used to transfer the implant um, from the packaging into the patient's mouth. It can also be used as an impression coping or an abutment. So it actually comes like this, right? So it comes in three pieces. So you pull it out from its packaging and once the site is done, so once you've actually prepared the site in the patient's mouth, all you do is grab it from his thumb grip and you insert that and you start turning this and this little plastic part comes off, right? So you could just take it right off. Once the implant gets primary stability, this comes off and often actually your implant wouldn't have gone all the way down. Your implant will be like right there. And then you just take your torque wrench, this guy right here with the arrow visible, and then you put your torque wrench on there and take it the rest of the way. Once you confirm that it's all the way down, then you can go ahead and take the transfer off. So you just take the transfer off with your little hand driver And then you confirm that your implant's all the way down. So you actually want it to be below the bone one millimeter circumferentially. And if you still have to go a little bit deeper, you can get this guy from your surgical kit. So this will go onto your implant and you pop the wrench back on. And then you use that to sink your implant a little bit further so that it's one millimeter deep. So now that it's one millimeter deep below the bone all the way around, now I can go ahead and put my healing abutment on there and call it a day.